Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve a partial differential equation uh, by using ND solve in Mathematica. So for this uh, uh, for this purpose, we have particularly considered a heat equation, uh, which is also known as the diffusion equation. It describes the time evolution of a function uh, given its uh, initial uh, distribution on U. Physically, this partial differential equation is used to determine the spatial distribution of temperature on a conductive surface after it diffuses uh, for time t. So basically this uh, uh, this explains the diffusion of a temperature for a conductive uh, surface for uh, some certain time t. Let me s let us begin uh, solving this equation uh, by using Mathematica. So first of all we need to define a function for Mathematica defining function for heat equation so in order to define a function for the heat equation let's say this is a function of heat equation so this will depend on u so u here u is our general function in the given heat equation and then it depends on time and the spatial coordinate x so similarly uh, now now i'm going to write the left hand side the left hand side is the derivative of u with respect to t is equal to the derivative of the right hand side so the right hand side is the derivative of u with respect to x but it's a second differential equation so, so it's a second derivative so i wrote this so x two times in the next step uh, let me give the boundary conditions so here are the some initial boundary conditions for this uh, function so for the boundary conditions let me define this initial boundary conditions is equal to enclosing them in the curly brackets so let's say initially uh, when time is zero this is x so let me define this as a sine function so this is a sine distribution for when time is zero for the uh, for the spatial distribution for the spatial coordinate we have defined a sine distribution sine of pi x and then let me put equality here now the second is when for time t when x is zero so this is defined as zero and again when time t uh, and x is one so let me take it as a zero so this these are my boundary conditions here now let's solve this equation uh, by using and the solve so and the solve this heat equation which depends on u of uh, so u depends on time and x again uh, here there are two other coordinates which is time and the other is x so and next uh, let me enclose this in the curly brackets for the nd solve because this is our function way which we have to uh, solve for this purpose now we will solve this uh, uh, we will ask mathematica to solve it for the given boundary conditions so these are my given boundary conditions and then it will solve it for u for given time let's vary this time from 0 to 1 and let's vary this x also from 0 to 1 okay so again there is some issue so let me review my functions so this is my heat equation u of tx and then for time for x let's do it with for the given initial boundary conditions solve it for u given t is from 0 to 1 given x is from 0 to 1 so uh, this is 0 x so it's a sine pi x and u of t zero let's say it is also zero this is also zero so let's solve this and dissolve 
heat equation for u dx and this is ic and this is u and d is from 0 to 1 x is from 0 to 1 so uh, let's move on to plot this uh, so probably uh, let me plot this solution plot 3d this solution so let me plot this u of tx now let me define a boundary conditions for this uh, suppose plot this for the solution and then given the boundary conditions t is from 0 to 1 and vary x from 0 to 1 so let's check huh, again there is some problem here okay so the problem is here it should be just one so that's the problem yeah okay so we need to plot this uh, we need to plot this function u of tx uh, for this solution which we have the solution and then we are varying this t is from 0 to 1 and x is from also from 0 to 1 so let's try now so here you see the solution for the heat equation so uh, let me check if I vary this up to 2 so you see that uh, this this is uh, my uh, x-axis and this is my t-axis which varies from 0 to 1 and this is the distribution this is the distribution of the heat so let me keep it just again 1 and uh, because so you see that there is some solution of the heat equation which is missing uh, I need to just say let's take this for our plot range so you see this is the uh, it's a very nice solution of uh, this uh, partial differential equation which is a heat equation and now I am saying that uh, let me label these axes for me so in order to label the axis so my first axis is time my second axis is x and the third axis is u so you will see these are labeled as so this is the x axis this is t axis and this is time similarly uh, we can change the plot style here let's say this is a plot style let's say this is gray so you see it's a gray style so if if you want to further change it let's uh, let me take it as right so this is a partial differential uh, solution of the partial differential equation which is a heat equation in a similar way uh, the other partial differential equations can be used uh, by and solve given the initial distributions let me check it if we change this uh, initial distribution as an exponential function uh, let's see this is an exponential function we will see that how this solution now uh, changes so now the boundary conditions are not inconsistent so we will change this with just cos function to make it consistent uh, this is my yeah so this is the solution here you see that when we change the initial distribution uh, on on this function so the solution of the heat equation changes okay so this is our tutorial we will see in the next video thank you so much uh, have a good day